was like literally the second you plugged it in, it was like. Yeah. Cookie, and this game will be broadcast in 112 languages. You'll just be seeing the English version, though. Oh, awesome. Four-player games are the best. Don't mess this up. Let's do this. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool, and you'll get 1,000 for fighting the truth. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. Every year, residents in Ivrea, Italy, reenact the historical battle of the region, and instead of replica weapons, they use blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you can't think of anything in time, use the Lie For Me button for half the points. Do it now! button if you can't think of something. Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and touch it on your device. Alright, who picked what? You guys blew it. And we're done. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Haribo sells a gummy in Germany that depicts a human butt with blank growing out of it. Type in your lies now. If you can't think of 
with anything. All right, where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. What? Huh? What? Huh? Uh? And that means some of these didn't get picked. Pick a category. No, 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 that's okay. I've got it. Okay, here's the question. Ruppy the Beagle, who is being studied in South Korea, is a very unusual dog because he can blank. Enter your lives now. button if you can't think of something. Okay, here are your choices. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. But still, his bark is worse than his bright. And nobody picked the other lives up there. <laughs> now it's round two, where all point values are double. Let's do it. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A man from Enniskill in Northern Ireland was sentenced to three months in prison for a fire he started while trying to turn blank into gold. Type in your lives now. if you can't think of anything. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? Nobody has ever arrested Rob Schneider. Hey yo! And nobody fell for this one. Yeah. 
select a category. Okay, here's the question. The mountain logo on a package of Toblerone chocolate contains a hidden image of a blank. Enter your lives now. button if you can't think of something. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Okay, here's the question. The fans of musician Josh Groban are called blank. Type in your lives now. Okay, here are your choices. Who picked to watch? Single lonely pitiful lie. <laughs> it's time for the final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. What South Africans call traffic lights? Enter your lives now. Something. Nice. All right, where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, don't you feel Robo foolish? Hi, I'm Cookie, and I'm going to warn you now, I get clingy. I see I'm joined by four of you this game. In the Queen's name, I will protect you. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get a thousand for fighting the truth. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. There was once a fourth member of Kellogg's Rice Krispies mascot gang. Originally, it was Snap, Crackle, Pop, and Blank. Type in your lives now. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? Lots of suckers on that one. And look what we have here. And that means... All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. It's time for a road trip. When in the North Shore Mountains near Vancouver, British Columbia, be sure to climb the unusually named peak called Blank Mountain. Enter your lives now. button if you can't think of something. Okay, here are your choices. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. I mean, it's just messing up a perfectly good flat area. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. <laughs> Select a category. Okay, here's the question. In 1726, a British woman named Mary Toft convinced doctors that she had given birth to blank. Type in your lives now. Yes, 
question if you... All right, where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. Well, don't you feel foolish. And that means this lie didn't get picked. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. Exciting! Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. When soccer player Stefan Schwartz signed with Sunderland in 1999, the team made sure that his contract specifically prohibited him from traveling to blank. Enter your lies now. button if you can't think of something. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Who picked a watch? <laughs> he was hoping to take a commercial flight to outer space, or as they call it in Europe, foot space. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. All right, pick a category. So there were two. Okay, here's the question. In 2000, Australia had its largest ever online petition, which called for an end to rising blank prices. Type in your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. Unclear whether the petition fosters enough support. And the rest of the board goes unselected. <laughs> Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. 
One of Kim Jong-il's many titles was Invincible and Ever Triumphant General and Highest Incarnation of the Revolutionary Comradely Blank. Enter your lives now. the truth. T-G-A-H-I-O-T-R-C-L, for short. And nobody fell for this one. This is the final finish. One question left for all the marbles, and everything is worth triple. Good luck. Here's your final fibbage question. Michael J. Fox's middle name. Type in your lives now. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> nice slide. <laughs> and nobody picked the other lives up there.
it here? down smile. We're gonna have some fun. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you still have time to join the audience and potentially get killed by me. It's fun! Woo! Doing presentations make me nervous, but I got through it. My public speaking teacher, Mr. Temmy, would be so proud. Now let's play. Okay now, first question. Tommy Pickles is a character from which of these gritty TV shows? to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? Hmm, too easy. Alright, next question. What was the name of the business in the British version of The Office? answer is... this one? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! Let's go someplace fun! Welcome to the Killing Floor! We're going to play the finger cutting game! If you've got a hangnail, now's the perfect time to take care of it. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Could it be any easier? for the fingers, everyone. Well, what's this? My finger cord is pretty light. There's no hard way to say it. I killed you and now you're a ghost. 
But keep playing, and I promise you can still win. Never underestimate a ghost, son. Here's everybody's scores. Don't get too obsessed with your numbers, though. It's mostly about the killing. Let's try another one. What famous person actually has the name Mungo as their middle name? Artistic side. Your life depends on your doodle. A map of Europe. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. <laughs> Time to make yourself feel better at others' expense. Pick the drawing that makes you go bad. Bad dog. Look at what you did. No. Uh, the votes why? are in. Why? Personally, I kind of like it, but the people have spoken. I was going to put all the drawings on my fridge, but after yours, I decided I don't hate my fridge that much. <laughs> and here's your scores, my little dumplings. Here's another one. This question comes with... Musical guest, Elvis Costello! Who played the aptly named Massive Head Wound Harry on Saturday Night Live? to use your words. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I especially love adverbs, but that's just me. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Do it now. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. So it's, let's see what you came up with. Nice. Brace yourself. <laughs> oh, good. We're just down to one. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. Legumes. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Just 
let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. No fair! Here comes the next question. Pasta types. Beware of the darkness. Characters in Star Wars A New Hope. Full Magazine, Sexiest Man Alive in the 90s. Kill your friend and come back to life. It's the only way. Films released in 3D. Smart people, huh? Good! Now escape before the others catch you! Sharks! Foods you can eat on the paleo diet. So many kills. Here's another one. Forced by Frank Dogs. You can't get enough of little old me. I'm flattered, and you're about to be dead. Okay, now, first question. Which of these vicious beasts is not a canine? Is. Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. Welcome to the killing floor. 
We're going to play chalices. There are four chalices. Half of them are poisoned. Pick a chalice to drink from. I'm pretty excited to show off my chalice collection. Good stuff. Now let's see what everyone drank. You got poison, son! <laughs> Nothing beats the smooth, refreshing taste of poison! What?! Down to one player at this point in the game? Well, call me Christopher Columbus because we're taking a detour! If you can survive the next two questions, I think the final round should finally be ready to go. It's worth the wait. Trust me. Let's try this again. What animal is the symbol for Lamborghini? <laughs> Who said? This one. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor. Let's do a little memory test. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? If you make a single mistake, you die. But don't dwell on it. And looky looky, here's the pattern. How close did you get? Oh, you're so smart. I should probably be sprinkling in more clues about my true identity. I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, here's one. My name is not Brad. How about this? It sounds fun to me, but... If you wanted to take a depressing vacation to the site of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, where should you go? One. Hmm, too easy. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. Here's your first category. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Anytime today, kiddo. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. Chemical elements. Books authored by Donald Trump. Time is almost up. Stay out of the shadows. Hear all the Aikman songs. Try to 
Starring you Zodiac Animals. to you. This should be just as painful as it was the last time. First question. Did you know that there's other theater that's not about Alexander Hamilton? Seems like a waste of time if you ask me, but... What play takes place in Grover's Corner? money as you want, but take the most money or the least money, and you'll be sorry. Get some money, grab in. What a lucrative opportunity! Let's see just how greedy you little monsters are. It's punishment time for the most and least greedy. Personally, I never touch any paper money because of the germs. Here's how everybody's doing so far. It's real early though, so don't freak out. I've got more questions for you. Which root beer contains caffeine? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This. The rest of you, prepare for your punishment. 
ultimate killing floor. Do your stretches, mathletes. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. Whoever does the worst, dies. Math time, let's go! Come on, you can do this! Math, math, math! Get a few more questions in you, egghead! A tie is bad for everyone involved! <laughs> really? It's over already? I just started some microwave popcorn. Thanks, you jerks. Thanks. Terrible tragedy. I'd stay away from that abandoned mannequin factory if I were you. They say terrible things happen now. An eerie party game where people died for not knowing trivia questions. At least that's what the press release said. Four people died. Which is just terrible, but it's nice to have fewer dumb people around, I guess. Horrible. You know, around here, it's... No, I've never seen it. Welcome to the sequel. Now 40% less fun than the original. Let's play. Here's the first question. If you've watched Downton Abbey, this should be an easy one. When did World War I begin? for you. Welcome to the killing floor. Oh good! It's the always demoralizing loser wheel! <laughs> Less stalling and more spinning. I, I spun this once and I actually got live. Really? I didn't yell at you. Yeah. He was like super pissed. <laughs> That's so funny. I've done it like three times. Come on! All the cool kids love spinning wheels! I guess I have to do everything around here! Spin, spin, spin! And the loser wheel has chosen! Let's take a look at the scoreboard, shall we? Do you like it? I took an online C++ course. Aced it. Next question. Whose father is the Simon in the name of the Simon & Schuster Publishing Company? Surprise for you! Well, howdy there! Welcome back to the killing floor! Look at all that cash, y'all! It's like Warren Buffett's sock drawer up in here! Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die! 
A little teamwork might help you get through this. Time for the reveal! Sometimes betrayal is totally worth it. Aww, I'm gonna enjoy this. Here's where everybody's at right now. Let's try another one. Who was not on the 92 NBA Dream Team? Someplace fun. I want to play a dice game. I'll go first. Fifteen. Now I need an assistant. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. You choose higher or lower. Well, poop. Make it easy, why don't you? Roll lower than me, are you? Good roll. I thought these dice were rigged. Uh. Alright, next question. Ooh, here's a sexy one. How many inches of floss should you floss with, according to the American Dental Hygienist Association? answer is... this. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's play a game. Ugh, look at this mess. There's blood all over this art. I hope you're a splatter expert. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Tick tock, finish up already. Art again. Let's see if you messed it up. You deserve this. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. Here's your first category. Birthstones. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Time is almost up. See the right answers! A space for every right answer. British Prime Ministers. To 
Decisions, decisions. Thank <laughs> you. 